As preparations for the 2023 general election continue to gather momentum, participating political parties are gradually perfecting plans to win the votes of Nigerians while awaiting the whistle of electoral umpire to kickstart campaigns for the election. This, however, seems not to be the story of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, which series of unresolved leadership litigations resulting to the emergence of the second presidential candidate for the 2023 polls. The eagle eyes of the Chief Edozian Joko Council identified a mistake contained in the judgment and applied to the Supreme Court panel on May 6, 2022. The letter addressed to Honorable Justice Mary Ukego Peter Odele titled Request to Correct the Misplacement of Names in Your Lordship's Judgment in Suit Number SC slash CV slash 686 slash 2021 as contained in page 13, paragraph 1. For one of the factional presidential candidates and founder of ABGA, Chief Chekwas Okwere, the Independent National Electoral Commission is to be blamed for the lingering crisis. At the news conference in Abuja, Okorie wondered why Einek refused to recognize the leadership that produced his candidacy, even there is a valid judgment to that effect. It was convenient for Einek to promptly comply with the 14th 2022 judgment of the Supreme Court, which contained the mistake, which Dr. Victoria celebrated as having been affirmed the national chairman of Africa by the APS court. INEC, in fact, INEC complied with, within 48 hours of his delivery. The same INEC has turned his face away from duly corrected judgment nearing 60 days after the correction. Okori, who further attributed the crisis to a grand design to undermine the party's performance in the next year's poll, however, called for the intervention of Governor Chukuma Soludo of Anambra State. Since the tenure of Professor Chukuma Soludo is secure, having taken the oath of office as the governor of Anambra State on the 17th of March 2022, and therefore protected by the relevant provisions of the 1999 Constitution as amended, and since he is the de facto highest elected leader of Afghan, I urge him to intervene at this critical moment to save Abga from imminent peril. He also solicited the intervention of President Buhari and other organs of government to call INEC to order to avoid action that will undermine the conduct of the election. CNN News.